Hello, good evening. My name is uh, Alan Manu Jacob and I'm a CCO2 student studying in Bathsburg University of Alabama. Today I'm going to do a quick video on app review and the app that I'm going to review today is called Shazam. So Shazam is basically a music identifier app that uses that identifies music based on acoustic points in the music and compares it to the millions of down millions of music in its library. So the way Shazam works is uh, if you don't know music in the background if there's a music that you don't know in the background Shazam uses the acoustic points to pinpoint the music from its huge music database Now moving on let's open the app and see what's inside Now as we open the app we are greeted by this front uh, UI screen user interface uh, So basically let's now now let's talk about the aesthetic of the app the app aesthetic is really nice the colors and all they match really well plus the the function of the app is literally in front of the screen with a big button and s and on top that says tap to shazam so yeah you just press on it and it then identifies the music according to it and then there are also two tabs on the top screen on on the top corners of the screen which is the library tab and the concerts tab and there is a search bar right below the big s button now let's move on to the functionality of the app but the functionality of the app we we can see right now that if i press this s the big s button on the screen it's currently searching for music uh, it's listening to the background around me using the phone's microphone and it's currently listening to identify if there's any music playing on the background and then it will show the music right now it's taking a bit of time as it is not able to find any music as i'm talking right now through the microphone it is not able to identify any music that is being played and as a result it shows no result it shows a no no, no result screen as we move to the left you can see that the you can see the library tab that is Shazam's artists and playlists for you now as we scroll down you can see the songs that i've searched for before previously before or previously and these are the songs that i've searched for before now if you click on see all you will be able to see the songs that i've searched for along with the date along with the timeline of the music that i've searched with the day and the month or year now if you click on the three bars you can you can select and delete the songs to search for and then you just let's scroll back up and then you can click on the Shazam tab it Shazam tab is the same thing as just shows the songs that you've searched for with the date and everything yeah that's that's basically the Shazam tab it's basically the front screen itself and then if you go to the artists it actually shows the names of the artists and a play button beside it so you can play the song play the play any song of theirs and the playlist for you is basically Shazam's auto compiler where it compiles music that are similar to the ones that you've searched for and puts it in a playlist for you to give a listen to if you like them you can add them to your playlist which you're listening to in another app you can download or you can download it on your phone now if you move to the right you can see the concert stuff now let's scroll a bit down you can see all locations all locations is basically the locations around the world and not within UAE now if you click on near me you can see that the concert there are no concerts in UAE at the moment so let's go to find let's click on find a concert as you scroll down you can see each concert that is happening in Dubai with the date the artist name the location and the venue and the distance as well the distance is not i don't think it's accurate enough but still it shows the concerts and the artists and the concerts about to happen if you click on the three dots you can save the concert in the app itself so that it notifies you when the concert is about to happen and let's look at the concerts that are saved right now so it 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 shows the month the day artist name venue and location yeah that's it for the functionality of the app now let's talk about if the app talking about its principal objectives of the app well the app does fulfill its principal objectives well its goals are clear it does search for music it, do, it does have a library files where you can look for the music that you search for it does also have a concerts tab where you can look for concerts there is i think one flaw in its functionality and that is identifying music through like a person when it sings in the microphone it cannot identify the words in a music as the app can only identify music listening to the mu- listening to the tunes in the background so only the app can only identify music if if 
if if a part of the music is playing in the background and not sing the words that's the only flaw i would say that the app has that's all for this video thank you and have a nice day